celebrity is waiting nervously backstage, especially after that fall. She's already one of the bookies' favourites, or is that just hearsay? It's Suzanne Shaw. I think you've got guts and strength, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where you're going. After scoring highest amongst the girls last Sunday, Suzanne is set an even harder routine this week, including two big lifts. But it's taking its toll. Those lifts are really hard on my body. Either they really hurt. Oh, my ribs! I'm quite worried about keeping myself in one piece for this week. No! With ice, you've got to attack it, but at the same time, you've got to respect it. Suzanne goes for it, and sometimes... Um, the toe pick will trip her up or a body weight will throw her. And so there are the things that we've got to try and get under control. And then split. As a bruised Suzanne spends the next three days polishing her routine, all seems to be going well until the dress rehearsal. When you're gone. I actually have no idea what happened. One minute I was skating, the next minute I wasn't but it all seems a bit of a blur. She caught her toe pick or a rut in the ice, and so I ended up kind of diving over top of her and just the back end of my heel of the blade scraped her head. This is gonna sting a bit. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what, these things happen, I've fallen enough times. It's not gonna worry me for this performance. When you're gone, please welcome onto the ice Suzanne Shaw and Matt Eber. with Tuck to end a big performance. Suzanne doesn't want a fee, but she is now asking for danger money. Our pop songstress, a natural artiste, and like Van Gogh, she's almost had an ear sliced off. The compulsory element, the lunge and spirals, were lovely. This is the lift they call the Charlie horse with the, the leg hook, followed by the forward roll up into the crucifix. And then there were mohawks on extended edges and a death spiral. And here's the scores, Karen, 4.5. Nikki, 4.5. Jason, 3.5. Ruthie, 3.5. Robin, 4.5. That gives them 20.5. 20.5, it's the highest score of the night. And it's been hard won, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely been so hard this week. And, uh... Well, you, you didn't... Obviously, you hadn't seen, uh, your fall until we played you that VT. I know. You were, you were <laughs> that far from losing all your teeth, um, and then you got nicked in the, in the back of the absolutely. head. Absolutely. I've got a bit of a hole in my head at the minute. Uh, lost a few brain cells, but it's not too bad. <laughs> did you, uh, did you... Well, when you saw it back, did you, uh, did, did it unnerve you in any way? I didn't actually watch it. 
I was oh, like that all the way shut. Off. Yeah, I kept my eyes shut, yeah. Absolutely. And it's easy to forget that this is a dangerous show, that these things can happen and those blades are sharp. Honestly, I think ice skating is probably one of the most dangerous sports out there because of the, you know, our apparatus. It's ice and blades. Yeah, they're not knocking about out here. No. <laughs> no, I've got a few nicks in my head. Too. Have you? Yeah, <laughs> from Jane. <laughs> <laughs> good, good lunges, good uh, yeah, uh, quiet very, element. Very good, Suzanne. I mean, Suzanne has all these little trips and falls, but she just tries even harder. She's not going to let it get That's her down. That's what's great. She just gets right <laughs> yeah. back up and says, OK, let's, go, let's do it again. Got yeah. over the injury and back on. I'm just Hold so up. used to falling now, and now yeah, I've got a little Matt scar to remind me of him all the time. <laughs> 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 let's see what the judges have to say. Holly. Thanks, Phil. A great scores, great routine. And it's it seemed like the skating scores were highest. Nikki? Yes, well, I'm really excited by your grace out there on the ice and also the potential you have. There's a couple of little stutters, and when more flow comes, the marks will go up. But at the end of it, you're doing a forward inside death spiral in week two of Dancing on Ice, and that's amazing. And the spiral after the lunge, doing it on your own, showing us you can do it on your own, that works for me. They're like skater Barbie and Ken, aren't they? I love it. Jason? I, I have to agree. It's a beautiful presentation. There is such poise and elegance in all of your movements and everything that you're executing. I would just say that, you know, it just make sure, because of the determination, it, that you have a bit of a harder look on your face. Just soften that a little. And I, can I also mention, I was amazed to see that Duncan James's um, poo on a stick move made it in there at the very end of your <laughs> routine. I can't believe that came back. Thanks for that, Jason. I think. Can I, can I just, I, I, I do agree very much with what Jason says about, um, you know, the grace and everything, but um, what I never see is um, a, a point of view. I, I don't know what music you're listening to. You need to interpret the music because that's what is missing for me. OK. Me for... Thank you, judges. Thanks very much. OK. Happy with those? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's great. All right. Well, if you think our singer deserves your backing, then give her your vote when the lines open at the end of the show. Susanna Matt. <laughs> Okay, we've seen seven performances so far. Quick look at the leaderboard here. We can see that Susanna Matz, as you just saw, high score of the night so far, 20.5. Chris and Frankie are second. At the bottom, we've Aggie and Sergey on 10, and Greg and Christina on 11.5. That's the judges' scores. But your votes are equally, if not more, important. So if you want to, you can change that leaderboard. Remember, the person bottom last week didn't end up in the skate-off, thanks to your votes. Coming up, Gareth Gates goes all Ali G, and Michael Underwood attempts the death spiral. See you after the break. <laughs> <laughs>